In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to divide monomials. We've already learned all the exponent rules we need for this, and so now let's look at a couple together. What we're going to do is simplify the coefficients just the same as you would a fraction, and then use the quotient rule to simplify the variables. Here we go. Let's look at negative 12x to the 8th divided by 4x to the 2nd. Now we know that negative 12 divided by 4 simplifies to negative 3, and x to the 8th divided by x to the 2nd simplifies to x to the 6th because 8 minus 2 is 6. Now let's look at 2x to the 3rd divided by 8x to the 3rd. We know that 2 divided by 8 simplifies to 1 fourth, and we know that x to the third divided by x to the third simplifies to x to the zero, but x to the zero is one, so we really don't have to write times one. It's enough to write one fourth. On this example, 15 divided by three will be five, x to the fifth divided by x to the second will be x to the third, and y to the fourth divided by y will, all, will be y to the third. Okay. Now we're going to look at a few more examples together, and I really want to encourage you to try these on your own before you watch the answers. Here I have 7x to the 17th divided by 5x to the 5th. The 7 over 5 will not reduce, so I still have 7 fifths. x to the 17th divided by x to the 5th will reduce to x to the 12th. So we can write it as 7 fifths times x to the 12th, or we could also write it as 7x to the 12th over 5. They both mean the same thing. Now let's look at 40x to the 9th y to the 5th over 8x squared y. 40 divided by 8 reduces to 5. x to the 9th divided by x to the 2nd reduces to x to the 7th. And y to the 5th divided by y reduces to y to the 4th. On this one, our denominator canceled out completely. On part C, negative uh, 15 divided by 45 will not reduce to a whole number. It does reduce to a fraction. Um, so you can tell that because the bottom number is larger than the top number. So when we reduce negative 15 over 45, we get negative 1 third. When you look at the x's, x to the 16th over x squared will reduce to x to the 14th and y squared over y squared will reduce to y to the 0, which is really just 1. So we don't have to write times 1 because that does not change the value of the expression. And we can either leave it in this form, or we could say, well, we really don't need that coefficient of 1, so we could just have negative x to the 14th over 3.